Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I had some thoughts on my old spiritual name that I used to go by which was in uh, Indian dialect known as Gurumukhi and the words were Dharam Darshan Kaur. Dharam Darshan Kaur. <laughs> and the words meant one by one Dharam Dhar, Dharam is, is an abbreviation for the word dharma, which is the opposite of karma, right? And so, though I usually don't go by that name anymore, I think about the meaning of it a, a lot of times. And, and the first thing that I think about and contemplate on is the word dharma. You know, it's an interesting concept that right action in the world, dharma, action aligned with the will of God, be it ever so small, can cut the, the knots of karma, which are the unconscious uh, raveling up together of our, of our uh, electromagnetic fields. So judicious, neutral-minded, compassionate, correct action in the world, dharma be it ever so slight, can loose the knot of karma. What an interesting notion that is from ancient India, is it not? So the question is how to arrive at that neutral mind and how to arrive at that dispassionate compassion so as to be able to wield the sword of dharma, to cut the knot of karma. <laughs> and so that's first first word. And the second word in my name, my spiritual name, is Darshan. Darshan. And that word means sitting at the feet of a spiritual teacher, paying rapt attention, being de completely devout to that spiritual teacher. <laughs> And in the old days, I used to do that. I used to sit at the feet of a spiritual teacher and absorb all of the soul knowledge and, and uh, energy that I could from that teacher. And in that way, my own um, soul knowledge and my own energy were uplifted. And up to a point, that works, that works exceedingly well to, to pay darshan, to sit in darshan with, with someone whose energy is very high. And then there came a point that I can't quite pinpoint in my life when I began to align solely with the heart and mind and will of God, directly with the divine. And yet, because of my prior training, I still think of it as darshan, you know. I still think that I am raptly devoted to God. So that's sort of my path. My path is one of rapture and devotion. <laughs> so there's that. And then my, my, my last, well actually the last part of it was Khalsa, Dharam Darshan Kaur Khalsa. So the third spiritual name, Kaur, is a name that the people of that particular like learning path at the time all the women got the name Khor, and Khor means um, princess, princess. And so from that, like middle name is sort of what it is, from that middle name I got the notion that women have a right to be treated with great respect as nurturing principles and mothers of all humankind. That was my feeling, the teachers, lifters, inspirers. Women have a great job to do on earth. Of course, all the men in that tradition, they, their middle name was Singh, S-I-N-G-H, and that meant lion. That meant the courage of, to protect the innocent and the weak. That's a pretty good name too, huh? So two names, one for the divine feminine, princess, one for the Divine Masculine, Lion, Great Courage. And then 
and in that old tradition, the last name was Khalsa. So the last word was means the society of the pure ones. And what does that mean to me? It means to me to tread that path of chastity, purity of intention, what so few people even conceive, much less attempt to accomplish in their lifetime. That's my thought for this lifetime. To be in the congregation of the holy and the society of the pure ones. It's kind of funny because during the ascension process, the, the, um, this clearing process that's taking place, I'm encountering so much dark energy, so much what you would call impure energy, right? And uh, Peggy Black says from time to time, she says, we're, we're running into all these, these dark emotions and like that. And, and I figure, she says, it's only 5% me and it's 95% lots of other people that are clearing. So she looks on it as a holy duty to purify and uplift the world. And I agree. I, I appreciate that quality in Peggy and I agree completely to it. So, God bless you all. Love you lots.